Sandra, let's go over this waiver. I know it's we still got a few minutes to go, but let's go through this so we can start on time. Okay, I give consent to engage in this workshop. I'm not obligated to participate. Does not impact eligibility for health insurance coverage. I can cease participation at any time. Excuse me, this workshop will use the musculoskeletal system. I understand that I will not be observed and I'm responsible for monitoring my own condition. I assume all risks of the workshop. I further understand that it's being performed at an event sponsored by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and its affiliates. Harvard Pilgrim should not at any time be liable, responsible, or in any way accountable for loss, injury, or damage suffered. As a result of this, I myself, my heirs, executors, and assigns hereby release Harvard Pilgrim, its affiliates, its affiliates, subsidiaries, divisions, anyone, any legal crimes, crimes, <laughs> claims arising out of in connection with related to this workshop. Okay, let's close out of there. All right, so let me get the work out in the chat for you if you like to be able to see follow along i am a visual person so i have to print it out i have to be able to see it all that jazz chat all right so that's our workout we'll go over here is my social, if you need to reach out, want to reach out. All right, so we're going to get going, 729. I have, I have a student today. <laughs> oh, I was feeling kind of crazy last night. I was like, you know what? I just need one face, one face. <laughs> it's my husband. He wouldn't really normally join us, but so I put this um, life-size poster I got of him um, for his 40th this year. Morning, Tara. All right, 7.29. Wait one more minute. <laughs> hopefully, Hopefully our student Peter doesn't scare you this morning. Uh, I think I'm so funny sometimes. Okay, <clears throat> 7.30, let's do it. All right, so today we have all 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Well, we'll have a bit of rest between because 45 seconds is a long time. Um, <clears throat> then we'll go through each, I think we have each three rounds. I've kind of sandwiched the core part in the middle here, okay? Um, so the first round or set, I should say, will have three exercises. The second one will only have one exercise, and then the last one will have two, okay? So um, first one will kind of be the hardest one we have today. I have 10s and 15s, um, but we'll go over the exercises in the warm-up so you can kind of gauge what you need today. All right, let's do it, everybody. Good morning. My name is Katie. This is Peter. <laughs> he might not be doing much, but at least he's here with us. <laughs> All right, let's get warm. Shake it out, march it out. <clears throat> it wasn't even right here for the warm up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. All right. Those legs moving, get those arms moving, get some music on. I always forget. That you wear lighter clothes in front of the fireplace because it's kind of dark. I'm going to start my timer here. There we go. All right, come to the end of your mat. We'll lift up onto the toes, roll forward, ooh, my back. <laughs> walk it out into a down dog and just walk it out a little bit into the backs of those legs. We'll lift the right leg. Just kind of 
roll the ankle a little bit, step the right foot forward. Oh, back knee comes down. We're going to lift it up into a low lunge. We're going to press it back. Feel that hamstring for a moment. And we're kind of come into a twist. This is kind of a world's greatest variation. Right elbow towards the right foot. And then you're just going to place that hand down and we'll reset and down dog. Do it on the other side. So left leg, little ankle movement there. Oh, left foot forward. You look tight today. Lift, hamstring, nothing crazy. It's getting going here. Twist. Oh my God, it's a huge spider on the ceiling. Left elbow to foot. And we press it back. All right, let's do two more each side. Take your time. Oh, it's a nice crack there. So it's basically right hip opening, front and hip opening, and that low lunge hamstring, little activation opening, twist back into the inner thigh, inner hip, and reset. Take your time. There's no hurry. Our actual working time today is about 20 minutes. Give or take a little oh, left arm. I got one more each side. And if you need something a little bit different, that's okay too, right? Take your time, do your thing. <clears throat> At a one minute, not one minute, one K time trial for rowing Sunday. Of course, I waited till the last day to do it. And we skied Sunday and it was snow on top, snow under rain. So it was like really heavy. Oh my goodness, my legs. <laughs> I was like, it's a bad idea. I've warmed up for like legit 20 minutes because I was like, oh my God, my legs are killing me. It's so bad. All right, shake it out. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to do a little bit of um, a, a so, um, variation of good morning, okay? So what we're gonna do is actually take your arms out in front of you, palms together. We're gonna hinge at the hips here. We're gonna reach one arm up and then the other little rotation and then I bring it back to center. So we don't have a lot of rotation in our actual workout today, which is okay, right? I usually try to add at least one, but sometimes, you know, it just doesn't happen. So we're gonna do some rotation in the warm up. Get us set up properly here. We'll go for about five of these. Nice long spine. <clears throat> Just pull maybe one more. And warm up the core a little bit. We'll go through the exercises. There we go. All right. Lift it up. Shake it out. We're going to come back down. This time we're going to take it into a twisting plank. So you're going to take your heels to one side, open it up, back to center, and then other side. So that's one. Let's go for five. Knees can come down, right? You can do this same thing on the knees. Wrists under the shoulders, belly up and in. This is the only time we'll be on the hands and wrists today, which is kind of nice. One more on each side, and then let's go through these exercises here. Good. All right, shake it out. Anything else you need, grab a sip of water. So we're gonna start our first round. We have, these are all compound exercises, okay? So 
meaning they hit different muscle groups. That's why we only have four, five, six. All right, so thruster, hands and weights at shoulders. We squat down. We use the lower body to lift up and overhead. Straighten those legs. I'm just gonna pause this for a second. So that's number one. Number two is gonna be a single bicep curl. So we're gonna be in this wide position, arms out in front of us. We come down into sumo, knees out towards the toes. We lift up and we curl with the weights, okay? Number three is a deadlift fly. So we're coming back to that bent over position. We're gonna do a uh, reverse fly, elbows pull together, reset, and come back up, okay? Um, for our second set, we have an overhead sit up. So you're bringing that weight overhead to the chest, use that weight to lift all the way up. If lifting all the way up is not an option, over and just crunch, okay? I don't love crunches, but love them a little bit less than sit-ups, I'd say. <laughs> all right, last one, we have a chest fly. So we're out wide again. This time we're coming up and then skull crusher weights to the side of your head. I'll go over it where we get there. And then we're gonna have a narrow press to, what's the last one? Oh, in a hip bridge. So we're gonna do a narrow press and lift those hips at the same time, all right? All right, let's do it. Three rounds of each, 45 seconds of work. 10 seconds and we're off. I'm gonna start with 10s and see how that feels. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one, down and up. So using your lower body, the idea with thrusters here is that because we are using the lower body, you can usually go a little heavier. I'm feeling a little tired this morning. You might be too, daylight savings time. When you're over 40, it's no joke. <laughs> Holy moly, it was so hard for me to get out of bed yesterday. <laughs> Sunday was okay. Actually, my alarm went off at seven and I was like, oh, I didn't even, and I think it's probably like a mind F too. You know what I mean? It's like three, two, one, rest. My alarm went off at seven. I was like laying in bed on Reddit, playing on my phone, like totally oblivious, like do do do. Yep, yeah, okay, we'll get up in a minute. Three, two, one. Sumo with a bicep curl. Here we go. Down, hammer curl, thumbs in. So, and then I happen to look at my like table side clock. I have one of those um, wake you up with like the sunlight, which I never use, but probably should. Anyways, I happened to notice it was six and not seven, you know, or it used to be. And it kind of like freaked me out a little bit. I was like, ah, <laughs> I should go back to sleep, which is always a bad idea, right? Because then you wake up feeling even shittier. Excuse my language. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, deadlift with a fly on deck, shake it out, put those weights down if you need. I know 15 seconds is a lot. Here we go. Three, two, one. So we'll get a one minute break after our nine rounds, three of each. Now when you come down, squeeze those shoulder blades, release them. I like to turn the weights so they're not hitting my legs in a kind of a weird fashion here. So I have palms in on the way down and then I switch to palms facing each other and then back. And the fly is the limiting factor, right? You probably can go much heavier if you didn't have that fly, but it's okay. All right, rest. From the top, I'm gonna go a little heavier here. 15s, 15s. <laughs> Three, two, one, thrusters. 
squat and press. Okay, no lunges today, actually. So if you don't like lunges, this is a good day for you. <clears throat> One at a time. We're in no hurry, right? We're breathing. Down and up to your degree. Weights are always optional. And rest. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I just did this one. No bueno. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Sumo with bicep curl. Down, we curl up. Peter, you're not moving back there. <laughs> He's still in bed. <clears throat> Almost there. Ooh, 15 is on the curl. No aggressive KT. 10 seconds. And rest. Deadlift with a fly. Woo. I did keep the heat up a little last night. Don't tell my husband. So that it wasn't freezing when I came down here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway down. Squeeze elbows towards one another, back up. So as usual, I'd rather you have less reps and they're good reps versus shitty form rushing through. There's no need to rush. If you pick a weight that is sufficient for you, it should be hard. Like right now I'm starting to breathe heavier. Definitely challenging. And rest. All right. One more time through. Whew. Should I take this off? Yeah. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Thruster, squat to press. Here we go. Here we go. Last round. So maybe you keep the same weight. Maybe you try to go up a little bit. We always want to start conservative and possibly be able to go up. I'm not saying you can't go down, right? Of course, if you can't get through it, then definitely go down or ditch the weight. Absolutely. But I kind of look at it like when you're running, rowing, that's what I do mostly. Rest is negative split, right? Meaning you start conservative and you get faster. Three, two, one, sumo with our bicep curl. So Sunday for my 1K, I did not, I started out too hard. <laughs> and a 1K took me four minutes and one second, which was okay. I know we can maybe do a little bit better, but that was good. I was happy with that, considering. And uh, I don't like to look at the time on the rower. I like to look at watts, which means your power. So I kind of know, right, where I need to be. And I was trying to stay over 200 watts, which I knew was about that two minute mark for 500 meters. You might not know that if you don't row, so now you know. <laughs> but anyways, too hard. I was at like 260. And I was like, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
I have a love hate with short workouts like that. Cause it's like, I mean, four minutes, you're basically sprinting, right? For four minutes. But yeah, after the first minute, it was, I'm just watching my watts go down <laughs> and I'm like, ah, <laughs> trying to hang in there, right? Trying to just stay on above 200. I think I ended up with 198 as my average, which is okay. Close. <laughs> Rest. All right, one minute. Woo. We're going into that overhead sit up. <clears throat> Grab some water. Grab your one weight you're going to be using here. Tissue you can eat. Uh, nice and sunny today. We finally got some snow. It did rain a little over it, so, you know, can't win them all, but it was nice to get out there Sunday. My husband and I, he has a call till 1030, so we're going to try to go. It's a good thing about living close to the mountain and having a season's pass. You can go take a few runs and you can leave. Yay! I don't even know what a ticket is these days. I think it's something ridiculous. Here we go. Five seconds overhead. So we have three rounds right in a row. Three, two, one, go. So you're going to lift with that weight. The weight should help you. Overhead, reach, and lift. Remember, you can do the crunch version. If coming all the way up is too much, sit-ups don't work for everybody. I mean, I guess like anything else, they're okay to do in moderation. You wouldn't want to do them every day. Low back pressing into the mat. And rest, 15 seconds. And notice my feet are pretty far away and nice and wide to help me get up, right? Not everyone needs that, but if you feel like you're having a tough time, try that variation, bringing your feet a little further. Here we go. So overhead. <laughs> weight towards the chest, and then we use it to lift us up. Really try to reach that weight back behind you. I do some things with a chair next week. I think I want to add in a chair. So let's bring a chair or a table, something you could step up on next week. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> Full belly up and in and rest. Okay, one more round. We need to stay on the ground. That's kind of nice too today. Ooh. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. And lift. So with that added weight, that also means you might be able to go a little heavier, right? Sorry, not added weight, added rest. We have 15 seconds for each exercise. We have one minute between sets. Last week we had not much rest. I know I always like to change it up. For you and as always if the rest is not enough then you take more take what you need three two one rest okay so we have a chest fly we're going to be wide elbows slightly bent coming up to the top now your skull crusher i want to show you this really quick Right, I know it's a skull crusher, so you think forehead, but we want to get full range of motion. So I'll show you like this. All right, so instead of coming here, you notice this is more like 90 degrees, try to keep that wrist straight. 
We're coming down towards the ear and then up. Okay. So pick your weights. I'm going to try tens here to start. And then we're going to do a narrow chest. So it's kind of narrow chest press, more tricep oriented <clears throat> with a hip bridge. Here we go. All right. So elbows wide, we lift up, bring those weights towards the ears, elbows straight up, and release. Chest fly, skull crusher, and repeat. Low back pressing into the mat. We want an added challenge, maybe lift those feet up. A little core activation. Oh yeah, that adds to it. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna switch to 15s for the chest press with a glute bridge. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze and lift. So elbows are close to your body. Palms face one another. Squeeze the glutes. Reach and lower. So everything comes up together. Press, dig through those heels. Or breathing. You're still not moving over there. Hopefully you are. Three, two, one, rest. All right, go back to tens. Five, grand fun here. <laughs> Three, two, one, here we go. Fly, skull pressure option to add a little bit of core with those feet lifted. Did I tell you guys I got my husband a trainer? <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, I know. He did not want to listen to me. And that's okay, I'm okay with it. Put together a program for him, and he still wanted nothing to do with it. So for Christmas, I got him a trainer, rest, and it was the best thing I ever did. He loves her. <laughs> She's good. Three, two, one, narrow press with a bridge. This is round two. We have one more beach after this. Lift. We're breathing. So he was meeting with her once a week in January, February. Now he's doing it twice a week. Very proud of him. But I came down last Thursday and my stuff was everywhere. <laughs> And you can see I'm pretty neat down here. I like it to be organized so I know exactly where to go when I need something, rest. And I said, Peter, the number one rule of working out, put your shit away. <laughs> Three, two, one, here we go. Fly, skull crusher, last round here. Breathing, no hurry, take your time. Compound movement, but we still wanna make sure we get each one, right? Separate 
from the other. 10 seconds. Almost there. And rest. You barely hear this thing today. All right. Ooh, seven to seven. Perfect timing. Three, two, one. Let's finish it up. Here we go. Rest, bridge, squeeze. Maybe you go a little heavier. Release. Almost there. Last work is set. We'll stretch for a second and move on with our days. Tired as F <laughs> until we get used to this day. Let's see if it's time. I will say it is very nice to have it light out later, especially here in New England. Oh, one more. And rest. Good job. Where it feels like it's been gray and raining forever. Ooh, all right. Quick stretch here. We have about two minutes. I know there's something I want. Oh, I want to get into those lats. So we're going to do a child's pose. So knees out to the edges of your mat. Push your hips back. You're going to reach one arm. You're going to be on the razor edge, this kind of pinky side. And then you're going to reach it out and then think about pulling the shoulder back. You should really get into that lat area. Down into the side of the ribs, side of the shoulder. And then we'll switch sides. Here, you're right. It's my... All right. Ooh. Amazing how much difference the sun makes, right? Getting up to the sun versus getting up in the clouds. Good. And then we're going to do a lunge. We'll get the biceps and the chest a little bit. So just like we did in the beginning, one leg forward, and we'll just press it forward, try to get that knee past the toes if you can, or at least in line with the toes. And then we're gonna add the arms, press the palms out, reach the fingers back, and settle into that stretch in the hip here and the quad. And we'll switch sides, left foot forward, do a couple dynamic where we hold. And then this time, let's just take the palm, pull the fingers down, holding that hip stretch. Good. All right, awesome job, everyone, today. Nice work, Peter. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. My name is Katie. I hope to see you next Tuesday. Hey, Don, Darlene, Eileen, Lisa. Have an awesome week, everybody. Need a picture of my Peter. Okay. <laughs>